Hey everybody, Space Windu here from the FX Saber Forums. If you're looking for me on the FX Saber Forums, my name changed to XR Kuhn. So you can find me on there. You can join for free and talk sabers. So check out this new lightsaber that I designed here. I had the idea for this a few years back. It is, it is inspired by uh, a few different things. Um, one of them being a Vader's Vault lightsaber from a few years back that had a grip bar. So running up and down the saber there was a bar that had a couple uh, grips carved into it. And I got that idea when I saw that lightsaber. Maybe that was like 2011. And then, you know, when the new movies came out and Kylo Ren uses a cross guard lightsaber with the Quilons and the exhaust ports. Um, I really like the look, uh, especially when um, Ezra picked that up in the Rebels cartoon, something that looked kind of like this, maybe something like an Old Republic lightsaber that Ezra picked up, and it had the green uh, exhaust ports on the sides. And um, I've always kind of liked the bunny ears from Custom Saber Shop. I've used these on a bunch of sabers that I've designed and made. And this is just another one of those, but uh, the first time I ever used two bunny ears, two bunny ear sets to make kind of like a cross guard lightsaber. And the other um, sort of inspiration that I had for this was like planes and that sleek design that's like uh, the Nabu Starfighter or like in our world some sleek like 1940s um, style planes, style like war planes and um, experimental jets. So on this one the emitter is up here and I have a custom Saber Shop NeoPixel connector. That's for the NeoPixel system in this lightsaber which is a Plector Labs Prism 5.1. I have one of the new speakers in this from the custom Saber Shop. <clears throat> um, I have one of the new base speakers, uh, or, the, or the new premium speakers, and that is in a pod that I made, uh, sort of facing toward us right now. There's these graded sections where the sound is vented, and also the pommel. The pommel just has access to the SD card, the prism right here, so it's very easy just to get access to the SD card. Um, you don't have to play around with opening anything or unscrewing anything. It's available just like um, the recharge port and the um, rice port, which is the first port here. So you can just plug in your rice cable from the custom saver shop. Uh, you need to download the program and download the USB cables program and you can use the rice to just change settings on the fly. And we have the blade retention right here. I'm just wearing gloves because I polished this up for the video. And I don't want to get my fingerprints all over it um, while I show it to you guys. So right here we have the ac activation button and the aux button. That's just waking it up um, from the deep sleep that the prism was in. And cool thing about this one is that within the grip bar, um, which is uh, this massively thick aluminum bar uh, that I hand cut and shaped the three, the three grips. Uh, for fingers 
and just some design elements here and some of the screws are actually actively holding on the emitter to this center piece and when you turn on the saber you have the uh, NeoPixel strip um, running through the grip bar which is the same dynamics, the same setup as, as the blade that I have with this um, So that reacts just like the blade when you change colors um, you're going to see it happen right there and on the blade which has also got the custom Saber Shop connector this is a 33 inch long trans white custom Saber Shop blade with a custom Saber Shop tip that I drilled out this has the um, NeoPixel LEDs we have about 250 of them here and they change to uh, RGB, red, green, blue millions of colors using the custom Saber Shop foam and the nylon custom Saber Shop diffuser which gives a really nice diffusion on these particular um, LED strips, the 50-50 that are actually trimmed down to um, to be um, a, th a thinner strip overall. Um, just have more diffusion in here. So I'll show you the way that looks. So undo the retention screw. This type of blade, you just push it down. However you push it down, it's fine. I'll turn off the lights real quick. Some of the lights. Okay, so what I have powering this lightsaber is a 3.7 lithium ion high capacity battery that you charge through the 2.1 millimeter uh, recharge port. Um, as I was saying before about these screens, now that I have this turned around, I have one little brass screen on the bottom there and then two silver screens which are uh, which are speaker vents on that on that bar there so you can change colors with the prism it's pretty cool I like these purples look really nice on here So this speaker is a premium speaker, as I said, and um, on the Custom Saber Shop website, it suggests to um, have the volume at three instead of four. So that's what I have it set to right here. So it sounds like a little, uh, um, a little less boomy than the um, speakers you have set to four. But I'm assuming um, at your own risk you could turn it up to four. But it says it says it uh, will last longer at three. So I just figure play around with it at three even though it's um, not as loud it's got a nice sound You have six fonts on here on the prism. So you just cycle through them with the aux button. And there's different colors saved. On the red, it's pretty cool how you can kind of get some of that strip color through to the back. The strip here has the same diffusion and blade stock as the blade itself.
And as you can see, that reacts. Just like the blade does. All right, everybody, thanks for taking a look at my cross guard lightsaber. I hope you liked it. I hope you liked the idea and like the combination of uh, different ideas on, on this one. Um, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Got a belt clip on the back. It's pretty cool. Um, hanging. So you can see the light strip and stuff like that.